Hello and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. So it is currently Monday the what, 9th of December and uh, yeah I've just been cracking on and being productive. I'm currently reading Day by Eli Weisel. There's Biggie in the background plus a pile of books I'm selling. And uh, yeah I don't have anything new to update you on it since my last vlog but I always like to say hello. So hello and thank you for watching. All right. Hello, it is Tuesday. Uh, I stayed up late last night doing some work and I've been working through most of today. I'm going to continue working into this evening. Um, yeah, but then tomorrow I've got tomorrow evening off and probably Thursday off as well. But also I need to make some money. So I'm like, I need to work as much as I can today and tonight and tomorrow before I head off really. Um, but yes. I finished reading Vi uh, Day by Eli Weisel. It was all right. It wasn't as good as the other books in the trilogy, which were Night, which was non-fiction, which was really good, and then Dawn, which was pretty good. But to be honest, it shouldn't be a trilogy. They should all just be standalones, I think. But um, yeah, this one was more philosophical than the other, so it had less of a storyline, really. It didn't really care about the characters too much. Like, there was stuff there, you know, but I, I just wasn't too engaged with it. So I gave it a 3.5 out of 5. And now I'm reading Snowpiercer Volume 2, The Explorers by Legrand and Rochette. I'm pretty close to the end now, so I'm just going to rate it now. Um, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. Uh, it's the second of three, I think. And basically it's set on this like post-apocalyptic train, where like the different sections of the train, there are different classes, and it's going through this like, endless wasteland. And yeah, this one picks up from the last one, really. But there's a movie of it, which I haven't seen. Uh, but my other half has, and she was talking about it the other day. And I was like, I've read like half of the graphic novels. So I'm going to lend her the graphic novels. And uh, then hopefully watch the movie with her as well and see, see what I think. And speaking of books that have movies, I also, of course, have Alien 3 by Alan Dean Foster here. So that's what I'm going to pick up next. And hopefully I'm going to be doing a, uh, a full review of it. So keep your eyes peeled for that. And yeah, I will probably watch the movie after this as well. So that's where I'm at. Aloha, it is Wednesday, the 11th of December. Good news monetarily, I'm actually ahead with my tax. I, th I thought it was behind, so I'm ahead. So actually, I don't have to pay them that much. I have to pay them, uh, I think about 900 quid, which is a lot less than the four grand I thought I owed them, and definitely achievable within my budget. So that's good. So I'm not gonna go bankrupt anytime immediately soon. I do still need to take on more work and stuff though, and obviously I'm selling some books and that kind of thing, so hopefully, I will make a little bit of, bit of dollar. Uh, don't have too much to update you on, I'm still reading Alien 3. I'm enjoying it so far. I haven't had as much flagged out though as I have in the previous Alien books. So I don't know if that's a little bit of a warning sign that there's just not as much in here. Uh, I, I also think it's probably the least favourite of the movies. I know uh, Will from Bull Book Geek recently read the script for Alien 3 written by William Gibson, which they didn't use, they ended up going with a different script. But I feel like they should have gone with Gibson's script and Gibson and Alan Dean Foster could even have worked together on it and then Foster could have done the novelisation and it would have been cracking. But there we go, I'm going to finish reading that and then I'm not sure what I've got to read next, to be honest, I will update you. Um, this evening, in about half an hour or so, I'm going to my beloved's house. I'm going to see Noemi and um, we're going to have some food and do some Christmassy stuff, drink some wine. Should be good. And then tomorrow she's got the day off and I'm probably going to have the day off as well, although I might do a little bit of work here and there, we'll see. But yeah, I'm off to stay there tonight, so that should be good. All right, that's where we're at. Bearing in mind this is a snooker video, it has an incredibly clickbaity title. It's Unbelievable Snooker, all in capitals. Ronnie O'Sullivan, six frames in less than one hour. That's Ricky Walden. We want Ronnie to win, but we kind of already know that Ronnie's going to win. Because he's pretty much, he, there he is. Best player ever, I guess. I don't know. Maybe not as good as Joe Davis. Oh, apparently I'm on low battery, so that's not going too well. I'm wearing my Eating Animals is Weird t-shirt. Uh, yeah, watching the snooker. In fact, we'll just leave the snooker on. I can sit here and watch it while we're talking because I actually, I watch this when I'm going to bed and I can't sleep um, because it's just super relaxed and super chill. Yesterday I went to see Noemi and we had um, Christmas dinner and that was lovely. Shared some gifts and stuff. Uh, yeah, and then today, we both had days off, so we just spent some time together, played some music together, made a bit of food, and um, yeah, went into town as well, so I got some Christmas shopping done. Uh, I've been reading Alien 3 still by Alan Dean Foster. I'm pretty much at the end now, I'm like 20 pages from the end, so I feel qualified to give it a rating. So I'll give this like a 3.5 out of 5. I mean, it was all right, but it's definitely not the best. It's kind of the same, it goes the same as the movies, you know? Onto a new battery, hopefully this one's got some more juice in it. Yeah, yeah, overall it was alright. I probably would recommend if you like the movies. I am going to now watch Alien 3 soon as well. I've seen it before, but I'm going to watch it again. Um, and I also read 
Ball de Feu by Anouk Ricard and Etienne Chez. And uh, yeah, this is like a French BD, a band des, des, I can't remember the word. Uh, so like a French graphic novel, basically. They have, I believe it's the second or third largest graphic novel and comic market in the world behind like Japan and the USA or something. Um, and there's like really a culture of it, which is super cool. And like, so for example, this, I'm gonna show you some here, hang on. It's a big book, but all right. Ronnie's doing well, so people are clapping for him. Okay, so here we have. Uh, she's going. J'ai pas droit à un dernier repas. No. So he's like, I don't have the right to a last meal. No. Uh, C'est pas une bonne idée. On la fait une fois, on ne fera plus. Pourquoi? So this might be harder. Uh, that's not a good idea. Uh, if we do it one time, we have to do it more. Why? Le condamné, uh, uh, that's hard to say. Le condamné a vomi partout pendant le catalement, ça a dégoût tout l'amont. Okay, so if the con basically if the if the condemned vomit everywhere while they're being like hung, drawn, and quartered, uh, it will disgust everybody. Ah, okay. So yeah, look, we're getting ready. Like he is literally about to get hung, uh, hung, drawn, and quartered by these horses. And then he's going, "Hi, hi." No, I, that's my, that's my little joke. He's he's laughing. He's saying, "Hee, qu'il est lad avec sa tête d'Amazon." What? Uh, he is ugly with the head of the house. Oh yeah, because um, his hat is. That's why, because his hair looks like the roofs of the houses. You see. Bim bam, bim bam, il a dit le mot, il a dit le mot. Yeah, he said the forbidden word, that's why he's being dr dr like pulled pulled apart. So yeah, we, we read this, uh, yeah, this graphic novel together in French with me trying to read it out loud and then trying to interpret what it means and then me being corrected. But it's a beautiful thing. I might do a full video on it, on some of my favorite parts. Uh, so let me know. That would mean me doing more French though. But yeah, beautiful book. Um, I mean, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5 stars, but that's because I'm biased, because it meant a lot to me to be able to read it, so, yeah, yeah, it was, it was lovely. Elle est trop belle, she's so beautiful, that's the ball de feu, the ball of, the ball of fire.
limitation zone Forget it brother, and go it alone London calling to the zombies of death Who quit holding out and draw another breath London calling and I don't want to shout But while we were talking I saw you nodding out London calling See we ain't got no highness except for that one with the yellowy eyes, the ice age is running, the sun's zooming in, the engines stop running, the wheat is growing thin, a nuclear era. But I have no fear, cause London is drowning and I live by the river. chanson que j'ai écrit en français. Ça s'appelle une nuit en ville et c'est pour Noémie. J'aimerais tout vous dire mais je dis beaucoup de bêtises si c'est vrai. Alors je voudrais un boisson mais le jeûne et le conversation est bruyant. Got no 
time for the Trinity and I I ain't got no time for Jesus Helmeted pump in the yard, heated its iron. Water honeyed in a slum bucket, and the sun stood like a gradle, cooling against the wall of each long afternoon. Sore hands scuffle over the baked board. The reddening stove sent its plaque of heat against her, where she stood in a flowery apron by the window. Now she dusts the board with a goose's wing, now sits broad lapped with whitened nails and measling shins. Here is the space again, the scorn rising to the tick of two clocks. Oh, hello, I'm hungover. It was a good night though. <laughs> I can't even remember whether I updated you yesterday. Um, but yeah, so yesterday in the evening, well, I didn't have a very productive day. I spent, I, I made sure my house was tidy and was doing stuff like that. Um, but I didn't, I don't have a huge amount of work on at the moment as well. So that kind of helped, I guess. Um, but yeah. So um, in the evening, went to the Rose and Crown for, uh, there's a jam there. And uh, yeah, that was really busy. Played some songs with Dave. So you'll have seen some footage of that guy uh, on bass uh, called Alex. Yeah, he's great. I really like that guy. Um, so yeah, so we played some songs there, and then we went to the Art Centre open mic, and I played a few tunes there, including the song I wrote in French, which I introduced in French, and um, uh, my medley of the, to the two Toms, Tom Jones and Tom Waits, Chocolate Jesus and Sex Bomb. Uh, yeah, just for the lols, I suppose, but yeah, that was kind of fun. Went back to, oh, oh, then afterwards, actually, at the end, I helped put all the tables away and stuff. And then um, Noemi and I went off with Fran, who is the person who runs the art centre, to a pub called The Mad Squirrel. So she was off to meet her boyfriend. Um, and yes, yeah, so we kind of walked with her and had a drink there and then went back to Noemi's. And then I woke up this morning. 
had breakfast and I came back. So I'm currently watching um, Marriage Story, or a married, no, just Marriage Story on Netflix. Uh, it was recommended to me by one of my friends, and yeah, it's been good so far. I'm also watching it in French. I would show you, but they're actually currently singing a song, and that's in English. So it's very weird. <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. I think that's all I've really got to update you on. I finished reading Alien 3. Was that what I read last? I think it was. I updated you on that and Ball de Fur, didn't I? Uh, so since then I've been reading The Exploits of Brigadier Gerard by Arthur Conan Doyle. Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, if you want to give him his formal title. And uh, yeah, it's like historical fiction basically about this guy who uh, I assume he was a real person and he like served under um, um, Napoleon. So yeah, like historical fiction short stories. Pretty good so far actually, I'm enjoying it about halfway through. Uh, plans for this evening, well my friend Jordana has got a gig at the Mad Squirrel and Dave's going to it and Na Naomi and I were both going to go to it but I think she just wants a chilled evening because we didn't get much sleep last night, which fair enough. So I think uh, she's probably going to stay in, I'm probably going to go along but just for one drink and I've got to go and see Dave and give him a printout of a song because his printer isn't working, uh, but also I need to give him a flash stick with some recordings on. So I might actually record some music in a bit as well, we'll see. But yes, that's where we're at, and it's what, is it Saturday? It is Saturday. Fucking street, it's the weekend. Bop. Tell me we both matter, don't we? We're getting meta because you can watch me editing this video that you've just watched. Oh, wow. In a very slow speed because freaking Windows Movie Maker, man. Windows Movie Maker. It's loading audio data. How am I supposed to edit song clips together when it's this slow? Like, how am I supposed to tell whether the join is okay? <laughs> Fuck it, it'll do. I am watching 60 Days In, which is about people going undercover in the American prison system. Well, it's a county jail, I suppose. Um, but I'm also watching it in French. What are you doing there? What are you doing? They us. See, my plan is the more I watch stuff in French, the better I get at French. It is actually pretty, working pretty well. Like, there are some times now, like, just, I don't know. I don't know, je ne sais quoi. <laughs> That, like I just hear people say stuff and I'm like, I know exactly what you're saying. So that's good. Because um, listening comprehension is really difficult. For me at least, anyway. And it's also interesting with conversations because you kind of have to start formulating your response while people are still talking. Because it takes a long time to like figure out how to say stuff. So, I don't know, somebody will be saying something to me and I'll want to say, you know, I watched that too. And I can't just say, oh, I watched that too. I'd have to sit there and think and be like, uh, would it be, je regarde ça aussi? Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> it's hard. So, update. Um, last night I spent, mo well, I spent most of yesterday afternoon recording for our EP, uh, my band, The Ilk. Um, and there's some footage of us playing earlier. So me and the guy in the mid, uh, me and the guy in the hat or whatever, that, that's Dave. So me and him are the ilk. And then there was a guy playing bass with us and someone came to play cajon and stuff. So that was cool. So yeah, I spent most of yesterday recording and then I went to the Mad Squirrel, which is like a local pub slash brewery, I guess, um, for a few drinks because my friend Jordana was playing some tunes there as well. In fact, I might have some footage on my phone of her doing um, Landslide by Fleetwood Mac. So maybe I'll put that in the vlog if I remember. But yeah, I drank, two, I only had like three or four beers, but because I was hungover from Friday, I feel terrible today. And like my shoulders and back hurt a lot, and I don't know why, possibly from helping to move the ch the tables and the chairs after the end of the uh, Art Center open mic. But yeah, so I did that. Today I'm just chilling, being productive, getting some work done. Um, I basically pretty much ticked off everything on my work list, so. I've got like one job on at the moment, and so I'm going to crack on with that. Although I do have a message from somebody, so maybe they've asked me to do some more stuff. But at the moment, I'm basically trying to work as much as possible, to earn as much money as possible, to um, 
yeah, pay my tax off and start building up some savings again so that next time the tax man asks me for some money, I'm not stressed out about it too much. So yeah, just relaxing, being productive, selling some eBay stuff. I am still reading The Exploits of Brigadier Gerard by Arthur Conan Doyle. Nearly finished now. Really good, actually. Very much enjoyed it. Even though the guy, oh, he's so up his own ass, he's constantly like, well, there is no braver man than I. And, oh, he just annoys me with some of the stuff he does and thinks. But, you know, I'm, I'm guessing because he's based on a historical figure, I know maybe the historical dude was a bit annoying as well. Who knows? So yeah, I'm finishing that off, and then I think next I'm going to read Minority Report by Philip K. Dick. And as for my bedtime books, might as well update you on those. I am reading A Room of One's Own, which I'm really enjoying, by Virginia Woolf. Um, which my girlfriend's also reading, she's reading it in French. So um, yeah, it'd be good to compare notes on that. And then for my French book, I'm reading Trois Nouvelles by uh, Edgar Allan Poe. So that's three short stories, so I've... Already read The Fall of the House of Usher, and so now I have The Black Cat, Le Chat Noir. Um, so, yeah, I've got two more of those short stories to read. And then, I think my next French read might be Richard III? No, it's not Richard III. No, it's The Merchant of Venice. That's it, Le Marchand de Venice. So, and I've never read that in English, so I'm going to read it in English and in French simultaneously, which could be a challenge. Shakespeare in French just sounds like it'd be difficult. Although the funny thing is, is with, like, Poe, reading Poe, it's easier to understand him in French than in English, because it just is. So, oh, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I'm probably, I'm pretty unlikely to update you guys again today. I'll probably give you an update tomorrow to let you know how I get on with this. So far, it's heading for like a 3.75 or so. So it's not too bad, but it's also not mind-blowing. So uh, I'm going to crack on, and I will catch up with you tomorrow where I will sign off. Yeah, bye-bye. All right, we got more 60 days in in French, haven't we, Biggie? We're learning some French. Yeah, I normally do, like, um, uh, jalapeno mac and cheese, but I don't have any jalapenos, so I've used, I've got some dried chilies. This lady in the health food shop, this was supposed to be 3 99 and she accidentally, well, the till wasn't working, so she gave it to me for 50p. So, dope, that's gone in there. And uh, yeah, so I've got some, these are like some soy pieces, some onion, some chilli in there. Over here we've got my sauce. So I've made this with vegan blue cheese. So I don't know how that's going to go. I actually think the stuff is vile by itself. So I've kind of got it just lying in my fridge. But if it works okay in the mac and cheese, then uh, maybe that'll, you know. Oh yeah, I also have some of my own hummus here. It's a chunky hummus. Well, it's a bit at the end of the blender, so it's a lot chunkier. And uh, yeah, it is Monday, so yesterday my other half was having a bit of a rough mental health day for various reasons, so um, yeah, she had a little bit of a nap and then I went over in the evening. We watched a film, I think it was called um, <clears throat> I've Lost My Body, yeah, J'ai perdu mon corps, uh, French animation, very good actually, would recommend, it's on Netflix, so we watched that in French with the English subtitles. Um, and yeah, that was interesting because she was kind of giving me extra context on bits where it had been poorly translated or whatever And like there are bits where they don't even you know Somebody says something and they don't even bother putting it into the subtitles, but then I was picking up on bits because my French is okay <laughs> So um, yeah in terms of my reading I've fin oh yeah So I stayed over last night and then came back this morning. I've been pretty much working ever since I don't have a huge amount of work on I'm gonna do a few bits this evening, but um, nothing too extreme and yeah, I'm quite ahead with stuff, and uh, money-wise, not doing too bad. I mean, it could be worse. My rent's gone out now, and I'm about 200 quid short of my tax bill, but I don't have to pay that till July. So I'm going to pay it, possibly by the end of the month, and then I don't have to worry about tax for a little while again. I can't do like my annual tax return for this year, obviously, until April or so. So I can spend the early part of next year just trying to save up a few pennies. I've finished reading The Exploits of Brigadier Gerard. I believe there's also a book called The Adventures of Brigadier Gerard, so I'm probably going to look out for that one as well. This one was pretty good though. I did enjoy it. I gave it, you know, 3.75 out of 5. It wasn't perfect, but it was interesting for some like old school historical fiction, you know, and interesting to see Napoleon as a character as well. And now I am reading Minority Report by Philip K. Dick, except I've already read Minority Report because it turns out that it's about 45 pages long. So this has also got impo Imposter in it, Second Variety, which is about some robots, which I'm reading at the moment, which is actually much longer than 
<laughs> minority report by the looks of it. And then it also has, we can remember it for you wholesale, which is total recall. So, <clears throat> or rather is what total recall was based on. So yeah, I only started reading it today and I've made a pretty good dent, so that's good. Uh, this, by the way, Brigadier Gerard, this is my 400th book of the year. So I, I reckon that's pretty good. I don't think I'm gonna get, get hit 450 or 500 though. But um, yeah, my currently reading list is now down to 109 books. So that makes me feel good. Uh, maybe I might try and get that to below 100 by the end of the year. We'll see, it depends whether people get me books for Christmas, doesn't it? So that's where I'm at, and uh, yeah, that seems like a pretty good place to leave this vlog. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books, and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more, and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.